Okay, this is Spencer with On Live Nation. Do another installment of First Looks with Buddha Man. And today we're going to be jumping into English Country Tune. Let's get throw up the description there. And uh, basically, this is a puzzle game. Uh, it is a 3D puzzle game. So let's uh, jump in, see how this game plays. Uh, right off the bat, I'm definitely liking that little intro screen. Um, main menus. Definitely a little boring. And this is a keyboard and mouse only game, um, which is actually really annoying for this game that you can't use a controller because uh, you don't actually appear to use the mouse at all. Uh, this is done with the arrows on the uh, keyboard. Looks like space is the uh, button to press to select. You know, I've said it a lot about the other games I've done so far. Is they don't really show you the controls. Um, you have to figure it out, especially for this game. Um, there's really no indication of what button does what. It looks like this is to select the level. Uh, actually, I'm back out of this. This is really uh, another issue. Um, so it won't actually allow me to change uh, the volumes. And I think that's probably going to be an issue with this video at the end, with the music uh, overpowering my voice. Uh, I'm just going through and trying some different buttons here on the keyboard. Um, right, so that's definitely an issue. Um, how broken menu uh, items is definitely a flaw. Right, let's get back into there. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear me when this is done. So, well, I definitely like the music in it. It is very loud. Um, I actually have the volume all the way down, as you can see. Again, uh, you move with the arrows on the keyboard. Uh, the S, A, D, and W also work for moving. This looks like we have a nice little uh, tutorial here. And so we're just going to go ahead and move these into the boxes here. This whole into the incubators, I guess. That was uh, fairly simple. I mean, obviously, it's just the first level of the tutorial. It should be pretty simple. And I know the... had some issues with the menu um, not working properly. Let's see what we're supposed to be doing here. Alright, so we got an undo button. Let's see how it seems to function well. Um, definitely be useful 
if you put yourself in a bad spot with these. And uh, a little extra dynamic to it. We have to get to the end point, which I assume is this small blue square over here. And it looks to be pretty much the same as what we were doing before. Uh, difference I just noticed uh, these boxes or incubators as they call them are drop down um, which is where I'm assuming uh, some of the 3D is going to come in I know in some of uh, videos I've seen of it the board is actually three dimensional more so than this flat piece but you know, this is a tutorial so it makes sense The thing I'd like to point out, if you haven't noticed, the square actually goes down into the box, um, which is pretty nice to see that animation. Uh, I'm just going to wait to talk until after this because I really don't think you can hear me. So, uh, like I was saying, if you didn't hear me, um, I definitely like uh, the 3D aspect you're starting to see as we move forward. Uh, just the fact that you actually drop down into the boxes. Uh, it's good animation sequence. I mean, the graphics aren't particularly impressive in this game, but uh, the mechanics of how it functions um, is impressive for an indie title. Um, so. And yeah, I'm really hoping you guys will be able to hear this in the final product and I won't have to try to do another voiceover over the one I already did. But, and so far my only complaint about this game is really this audio issue and not being able to change the volumes. And it's going to be a leisurely title, I think, for a lot of people. And if you like puzzle games, uh, it's definitely going to be a good one. I um, feel like I'm probably being drowned out again by the sound. Uh, so let's hop into a quick final word. Uh, if you like puzzle games, you're probably going to find this game to be pretty fun. Uh, it's more of a leisure game, but... I think a lot of people will enjoy it. Uh, the controls are really simple. You're pretty much just using the arrow keys to move around and function within these physics that are in the game. Um, but yeah, I definitely think uh, it's be a good game to check out if you haven't done so already, especially if you like puzzle games. Um, I'd be curious to see how well it functions. Um, on uh, the tablet players if it does at all uh, I don't actually have a tablet besides an iPad that will run it so I can't actually test that out but um, I can see it being a good tablet game <laughs>